Good morning, John. So probably in part because I take a medicine to control an autoimmune disease. I got a special kind of COVID that goes away and then it comes back again. It's a bit of a struggle that has me looking for, for the bright side of things. And I did finally lose my sense of smell slash taste. And, and you don't actually lose your, your taste. You got your sour, bitter, sweet, salty, umami. You keep those. But you lose all of the complexity of the nose. You get five tastes, but you get like tens of thousands of smells. It's amazing. And for whatever reason, it stopped working in me. And this has made me curious because I like most foods, but there are some foods that I literally just taste like poison to me. And I wonder if without the smell component of taste, which is a big part of taste, will I still dislike them? Things that I dislike tend to be vinegary and vinegar is very sour. So my guess is that if I eat something vinegary, I'm gonna still hate it. But you never know. Ah, I have never enjoyed a pickle. So let's see what happens. That's very bad. There's a lot of bitterness. I'm sitting here though and now I kind of want more of it. Oh, no. I also like all rational people don't understand why people have black licorice. So let's crack that open as well. It says really delicious right on the label. So that's a big hunk. Okay. Oh, absolutely fantastic. I hate black licorice. This is great. There's a sweet, of course there's sweet. And then there's like a nice mix of a bitter sour that's doing a great job of complementing the sweetness. Wow, that's great. Oh my gosh, it's really delicious. If my sense of smell never comes back, I will take everybody's black licorice everything. That's good. All right, I'm also not a fan of blue cheese. So in order to make sure I'm doing the Lord's work here, let's get a big, like way more than I would ever eat. This, even of a normal cheese. Ooh, that's good. Shockingly sweet, very salty. Wow, that's good. Whoa, whoa, blue cheese is great when you can't smell. I would never have thought that it would be sweet. I'm gonna eat all of that. I'm gonna get some crackers. My guess is that I'm still not gonna like anchovies, just how I didn't like pickles, because they're basically just pickles, but fish instead of cucumbers. But you never know. Three, two, one. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> There's no water in here. Oh my god. I'm a spit machine right now. Ugh. Uh, that's clearly an ingredient. It's not a thing you eat on its own. In that package of anchovies, there's 74% of your daily salt. So that's not, that's not a good food. All right, now for the moment of truth. Uh, there's a lot left in my bag here, but all of it is olives. We're gonna start off with black olives. I don't know which olives are more olive -y. Who knows? Maybe they're good without smell. This is an olive. Well, it's not vinegary at all. It's just salty. That's good. If that's what an olive tasted like, I would eat olives. Salty. It's got a little little bit of something. Like a like a richness. Uh, maybe it's just fatty, like a fatty flavor. That's quite nice. And then the salt is a little much. That's a good, that was a good experience. I figured I was gonna hate that, honestly. And to finish this off, I believe designed specifically for people who do not have a sense of taste, it's blue cheese stuffed green olives. I'm gonna make a prediction. I'm gonna say these are gonna be too salty. Why do I keep smelling things? Anyway. Ah, very salty. But the cheese brings a lot of like sweetness uh, and sourness to it. And that's great. That's great. That's good. It's a good texture. The cheese has a really nice texture to it. There is something there that I feel like I'm getting in my in my smell zone. There's not olive flavor. It's like a rich nutty feeling. That's delish. If you like the flavor of olives, olives would be great. But unfortunately for me, when I can actually taste them, they taste like poison. John, thanks for hanging out as I search for some bright side, and it is this. I got to eat olives without hating them. And black licorice too. That was my favorite part. Cause honestly, not a lot of bright sides to this, almost as if COVID really sucks. Obviously feeling a little bit better now, but main thing from my experience, rest. Lay down, no pressure, convalesce. And that's what I've mostly been doing. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.